，明月几时有？把酒问青天。This is Bill Porter, a 79-year-old American writer and translator. The poem he read was written by Su Dongpo, one of the best-known Chinese poets who lived 1,000 years ago. Bill read the poem to celebrate the Moon Festival, a traditional Chinese festival that he has been observing for half a century. We always have the moon, the moon cakes, and um, sit outside and watch the moon. And our house looks out on the ocean. Toward the east, where the moon rises. Porter was born into a well-off family in California, but from a very young age, he longed for a simple and frugal lifestyle. During his years in college, he studied Chinese language and was attracted to Buddhism first. Later on, he found a spiritual home in Chinese poetry. Who is your favorite、uh, poet in China? The first poet I met was Han Shan, and Han Shan's poetry is so simple. Uh, I think Tao Yuanming is probably my next favorite,、mm. um, and the reason is because the reason I like Han Shan and I, and I and like Tao Yuanming is, is because I don't just like the poems. I just I really like the poet. I like who they were, what they did with their life. What is the beauty of the Chinese、uh, poetry? Why do you like them? Well, the first thing that I discovered is Chinese poems. The line of poetry is so short. So brief, just five syllables or maybe seven syllables,、um, and because it's so short, it's so ambiguous. You have to read it many times before you you can discover the meaning. There's much more depth to Chinese poetry than there is to most English poetry. Also, more than English poetry, it's connected to the heart. That's one of the things I like about Chinese poetry: is the depth, the heart. In it, and the ambiguity that allows me room to do to have fun with it. Porter has translated approximately 2,000 Chinese poems into English over the past four decades. He also traveled across China and published books about his discoveries. Bill said translating the poems is like dancing with the poets. And out of a love for his dancing partners, he paid some visits to the graves of many poets, and he brought some liquor with him for toasting. I remember that you have been traveling across China, trace the footsteps of Chinese poets. Well, when I wrote、uh, Shinrin Bu Yu,、uh, finding them gone,、um, I visited forty、uh, poets. Forty. I visited their the places where they lived, where they were born.、Mm-hmm. And, and and also their graves. So why do you think it's important to visit the graves, to visit the poets by yourself for a translating? It means something to me that these poets are writing from their heart, and that's why I I, I love them. I love the love the these poets. They they spoke to me, and so I had to pay my respects. Bill said the traditional Chinese culture is like a treasure chest, and he wants to share the treasure he found with others in the West. The one problem with any culture is it's insular. It's like an island. Every culture has a certain way of viewing things. Western cultures generally are rather、uh, historically recent. I think that Western co- cultures can benefit by the depth of Chinese culture by learning more about that. <laughs> Nan Shan.